Hello. Welcome back. Okay, so I We have defeated a gym leader. We did. While we were talking about... Sp- <laughs> Excuse me, sir! <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to preface this. I know I talked some shit about the Harry Potter book the last episode. Uh, and it's, like, going to be three days later, so people are going to go in the comments and be like, Ah, you hate it! Um, I've heard the stage production, the actual stage production, is a lot better yeah. than the script. So if you go see the play, odds are it's going to be a lot better than reading the script. Is that a war turtle? Yes, it is. That is a war turtle. Also, you should run around the top of this for a while. I may or may not have run into, like, 80 gajillion level 6 Zapdoses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> Alright, then. Yeah, I, I did. I did. Uh, good luck catching it. All you have is regular Pokeballs. Of yeah, which you have, point. like, 17. <laughs> so, don't waste them. Don't, and don't try catching this war turtle. I tried. <laughs> That's why you... Yeah, the starter, the starter Pokemon have terrible catch I also ran into a level 7 Blastoise at one point or level 6 Blastoise or something like that I was like well alright <laughs> what the hell I happened to our file uh, I don't know uh, I don't I didn't ask questions <laughs> I just went with it um, but no we were talking about off camera how Hermione in the play production is played by Black Wolf mm-hmm. and I was praising it because I think that it's cool that yeah. you know and so we were actually talking about, as well, how none of the characters are really described all that well. Yeah, this is this is something... In Harry Potter? This is, it, It's not that they're not described well, it's that the description of the characters is focused on their personality, not what they look not like. Not always. Some of them, yes. With the like, Weasleys, it's important the that Weasleys, you know that he's pale and has freckles and red hair, because they yeah. all are pale and yeah. have freckles and red hair. With, <laughs> the Weasleys are one. Snape gets a pretty mm-hmm. solid physical description. So does Harry Potter. And Harry, of course. But Hermione gets, like, curly hair. And yeah. That's pretty much the yeah, that's all you learn. Like, curly, frizzy hair. And yeah. so, like, when people were like, she could be black, I was like, she could be black. And then they made her black in the stage production, and it was great. Um, but we were talking about using minor characters like that in movies. So uh, they're making Stephen King's Dark Tower series into yes. a whatever. And Idris Elba is playing the gunslinger and he's black. Mm-hmm. And people were like, how do you feel about that? And Stephen King was like, that's fine. <laughs> like, Meh. Meh, whatever. Stephen King's pretty cool about that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't think he really cares. <laughs> yeah, No, it's really interesting to me because I'm white. Right. Mm-hmm. We're both pace and white. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's interesting to me... It hurts to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> the sun, it burns! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but it's interesting to me, like, how many... Yeah, you're not going to catch this war turtle. Yeah, it, it, don't even bother trying to just murder it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> You're going to need a great ball or better. Yeah, most likely. And you can't get one until you get to the next area. So you can, I can always come back and catch stuff that you want. Wow. Or we can come back later on another episode or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, um, it's interesting to me that minorities are so discluded, disincluded from stuff like that. That's and it, true. And it didn't, I didn't really think about it until... Um, uh, there's a there's a thing that's around called John Cho starring John Cho. Have you ever seen this? Mm-mm. Okay, so John Cho plays Sulu in Star Trek: The New Star. Okay, Trek. and so they re- basically there's a guy in New York. I forget his name, but he'll Photoshop the lead characters in movies to be John Cho. <laughs> and so instead of like the poster for The Martian being Matt Damon, they replaced it with John Cho. Uh huh. And so they do that with, like, rom-coms and action movies. Like, they did it with Southpaw, which is my favorite, because it's, like, Jake Gyllenhaal's body, which is, like, meaty and muscular, with John Cho's face. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they were like, we need more representation. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Like, because I don't... I would love to see that more. Mm-hmm. And you don't see it often enough, and it makes me really sad. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh-oh. But that's, I think that's also included in the fact that they made Sulu gay. And I was like, why is Sulu the first gay character? After 50 years of Star Trek. Because it really wasn't a big deal back then. And it still isn't a big deal in that movie, by the yeah. way. It just literally takes up a less than a minute of screen time. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, here's his husband and his daughter, and they're gone. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's um, a good way to do it. Yeah, it is a very good way to do it. We'll just um, make it part of everyday oh, life. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna talk about this. So I mentioned in the last episode that Doug June Jung was helped Simon Pegg write. Yeah, Beyond. Um, he's actually the person that plays Sulu's husband oh. in the movie. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 
And he, <laughs> he's not the most fit man. Like, he's an average man, I would say. Average in size. Like, the, the cast, like, Uh-oh. works out, like, two to three hours a day. Oh, God. And he obviously does not, because he's a yeah. writer, and he had no need to do that. And the person that they had hired, like, bailed the day before they started filming. Oh, that's good. And so, uh, he was like, yeah, I'll do it. It's fine. I just feel really insecure about myself because everybody's super fit and I'm not, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be one of the most fun DVD commentaries to listen to. What, the writers? Uh, no, just all of all of the Star Trek oh, yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. All of them? Just, yeah. I just really want to hear... Because aren't, aren't most of the actors, like, huge Star Trek fans? Um, I think <clears throat> the only exceptions are Zachary Quinto and Chris Pine. Okay. Um, Chris Pine didn't want to do it. His agent uh, was like, Hey, so Star Trek, you should try his Kirk. And he's like, No. <laughs> <laughs> and then he did it. And he was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and now he's like, This huge star because it's Star Trek. He yeah. gets to do He's going to be in Wonder Woman. He's in this mm-hmm. new movie coming out. I forget exactly what it's called, but he's like playing a cowboy. Like, he's. <sighs> but, uh, and then Zachary Quinto. I'm not sure if he was a huge fan of Star Trek. Um, I think he knew it existed, but he. Became, I would hope so. Well, I he became really close with Leonard Nimoy. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, in production of the film, I don't right. know exactly how he got the role, but yeah, but they picked him, so they're sad. But yes, Simon. Pegg, I caught a dragon. I caught oh. a dragon. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna have to grind that. <laughs> ah. And now you have to name it. Oh. Mine. <laughs> mine? I just think of the seagulls from Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Have you seen Finding Dory yet? I have not. Mm. Um, I don't That's watch... Good. You don't watch movies in theaters. I don't watch movies in theaters at, mo- at all anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly because they're just expensive for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I... I just wait until they come out on DVD in the library so I can check them out. Speaking of which, um, I just watched uh, Zootopia. Yeah. And that movie is freaking amazing. It's one of the best animated movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, Zootopia. Like, I'm <laughs> so it. good. I already knew the ending of Zootopia, by the way. Yeah. Um, and I was going to go watch it with you, and then my my clients from my freelance writing job were like, Hey, 28,000 <laughs> jobs. Finish them by Friday. And I was like, No! Um, and then I have another, like, 17 due by Monday, and I'm like, No, oh, again. Oh, God, it's a quillfish. Have fun with this. <laughs> This quail fish sucks. <laughs> I fought like three of these and eventually got to the point where I was running away from them because I could not beat them. <laughs> That's good to know. Oh, I already missed cut. Oh shit, it knows ice moves. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Its move set is full. Good. Good. <laughs> Oh, good, it knows revenge. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it will kick your ass. I think it knows fire blast you, by the way. Hey, you missed something. No, I didn't venture down here because I didn't have flash. Oh, yeah, good point. Awakening. Woo. Um. But yeah, I if, if I had to seriously think about the Disney movies that I like the most. Oh, shit, an Onyx. I didn't run into one of those. And the, the including Pixar movies, oh, like yeah. Disney Pixar combined, that has to be like one of my top five. Yeah, it's so good, it's just insane. Also, the Funko Pops for that movie are cute as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I got Judy Hopps for free, and then but I have this thing where if I have one, I have to have more than one. Yeah, uh, and what I mean by that is like if I have one from a specific series. I have to have another one from that specific series. Mm-hmm. So, like, I have an alien from, like, the Alien franchise. And yeah. then the Alien Mother and Ripley are coming out next month. Oh! And so I'm buying those. And then I have Freddy, and I'm buying Jason. Right. Yeah. And then uh, th- that's uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, and then I have... God damn it. <laughs> you might as well just fight these, because you're going to need to. But, um, and then I have, like... Sherlock and John Watson and Mycroft. Right? Mm-hmm. And then 
the other day I was like, you know what, I need more of these. I'm gonna buy all of the Star Trek Beyond ones. Literally all of them. <laughs> so I did, I bought all of them. <laughs> the, there were nine of them. <laughs> what? <laughs> they all came out, like, last week, and I was like, well, I bought all these. <laughs> these are all mine. I was only gonna buy, like, the three, and then I saw the movie, and I was like, no, I need all of them. I need, I need all of them. <laughs> I that was is a big goddamn it's a crawdad. thing. It's a crawdad. But yeah, I know. I, I, I thought at first it was one of those crawlers, like those donuts that you see because of its name. Those like ring donuts with the waves. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You killed it. Yeah, I killed it. Oh. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> well, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> All I want Pokemon I care about. <laughs> well... At least you're clear on that. <laughs> yes. But, um... Oh, shoot. I went... I looked up there, and I have... Potatoes the, is awesome, by the, the way. Uh, my bookshelf is to her, right? Yes. Um, and I have The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling up there, and my friend wanted to borrow it, and I totally forgot about it. Don't tell her. She's pregnant. She'll be sad. <laughs> <laughs> but she and, um... You found a hyper potion. Congratulations. Nice! Isn't there supposed to be, like, a stone there, like a moonstone or something? I don't know. It's probably supposed to be, like, an everstone or something. Oh, shit. That is poison. Repivs. Reapers. I was trying to see if it was something yeah, backwards, no. like Hackett's. <laughs> <laughs> it has Viper in its name. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well. well. <laughs> don't mind me. I was just... <laughs> No, I actually haven't read The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling yet. Hmm. Um, no, I, it came out and everybody, like, people started it, and then majority of people who started it. It's, like, the most unfinished book on Goodreads. Wow. Because everybody that reviewed it that didn't finish it goes, it's not Harry Potter. And I was like, rude. Like, she tried. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel bad for her. Yeah. Because it's not the only book that she's written that's not Harry Potter. Um, because she did the Robert Gabe worth books yeah yeah and nobody reads them because they're not harry potter and i'm like right. she's trying like why are you not uh it's not like stephen king he can write whatever he wants and yeah. it'll sell God but jk damn. rowling that's not always the case if it's not harry potter nobody cares screw it you're going to die well if it's not the wizarding world nobody yeah cares. yeah yeah that's that's an unfortunate part about being an author Nah, it depends. Is when you get your first popular book, that's all you're going to be known for, and then everything will be compared to that? Well, it depends, right? So Stephen King's first book was Carrie. Um, like, first novel. It's not the first novel he thought about, but it was the first one he got published. Yeah, and so I, I'm he, not saying that. I'm saying, right. like, the first one that gets popular. Right. So he had free allowance to pretty much write whatever he wanted, horror-wise. Yeah. And that's what he's known for. If he breaks genre, people yeah, that'd are like... Yeah, that would be a big deal. Well, he's written science fiction before. Eleven twenty two sixty three is technically science fiction. Really? Yeah, it's t about time travel. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, it's true. You should catch. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, ah, oh. Ah, you're touching me. <laughs> <laughs> so have you have you heard about? This is completely derailing the conversation. That's fine. Have you heard about the new Pokemon forms? Yes, the ice forms of the new Pokemon. It's not just ice. It's it's other stuff too. Oh, oh, the the like. The the execute with the giant long neck and the forearm. <laughs> the palm tree execute Did is my favorite. Did you see my tweet about that? No. Uh, so I retweeted it from Nerdist, I think, and I was like, "The fuck is this?" In all caps, like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I uh, love the so Arctic. Creepy. I love the Arctic box Vulpix. Mm -hmm. I love. Oh, it's him. Hello. It's Steven. Steven. I'm interested in rare stones. I traveled here and there. Oh, a letter for me? The letter C. <laughs> no, we're not <laughs> stealing jokes. It's too late, I already did it. Okay, thank you. He sounds like Igor. That's what you're making him it's sound like. It's pronounced Igor. <laughs> it's pronounced Igor. 
Well, I thought it pronounced Igor. Well, they were wrong then, weren't they? It's a good movie if you guys haven't seen it. Young, Young Frankenstein. Frankenstein. It's so good. You went through all of this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. <laughs> Let me see. I'll give you this TM. If it's tail wag, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> it's a dizzy punch. It's probably not dizzy punch. It might actually be. Your Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you can even become a champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know, since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in. Oh, Pokenavs. I literally just met you. Please leave me alone. <laughs> I just met you and this is crazy. So here's my number. No! So call me, man. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw back to 2012. Yeah. <laughs> was that 2012? I don't know. I think it was. If not, it was close oh, to Oh, it that. is Dizzy Punch. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think his favorite move would be Dizzy Punch. <laughs> yeah. You should see who can learn that. Oh. What am I doing? Uh, I've got, you've got an escape, escape rope. rope. Yeah, you were dissing on that escape rope earlier, and now you're like, oh, wait, I have one of those. I should use it. It's at the top. There, there it you is. go. Escape rope's awesome. da 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 Boing. Yeah! 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 Now to go to the Pokemon Center and in the episode. <laughs> oh no! It's only been it's only been sixteen minutes. Why don't you just go ahead and go over to send the next town? Oh, okay. And then and then we'll stop. Okay. Because twenty minutes is. Yeah, I guess. Twenty that's... to thirty minutes each okay. episode. Okay. Okay. Let's not cheat our audience. We have twenty-one subscribers now. We have to respect that. Holy crap! We got more subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Phil doesn't care about you, but I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know how these people are finding out. Because, like, the last person that subscribed, I was like, oh, I'm going to go look at their profile and see who else they're following. And then it's like 20 people. It is literally five. <laughs> and, uh, and, like, everybody else has more, su- like, thousands of subscribers except for us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was like, and they don't, like, have any, like, I don't know. Is this uh, where we get surf? I think this is where we get surf. Yes. Yes, and then we could search the ocean to see what terrible Pokemon lie in oh, wait. Oh god, this is another trainer maze. That's okay. Well, why don't you just venture through here for a while? Oh, what, what the hell is this? You, I can't swim, so I'm pretending to swim. Oh, it's a trainer. Oh. <laughs> da, 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 tuber land a dustox. I like dustox, he's cute. Yeah, kind of. He looks fuzzy. We'll just battle some of these until we hit the 20 minute mark. Yeah, yeah, yes, and that's then, true. Yeah, we'll end the episode. Oh man, you're flying. Oh, what oh, a shame. No. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but yeah, one of the people they followed was the Game Grumps, so I was like, oh, I feel special. <laughs> you're only subscribed to five channels, and one of them is us, and the other one is the Game Grumps. <laughs> I forget the other three because that's all I remember. I've subscribed to show so many channels that I forget, and then like not on the our channel, but like my individual channel, and then I'll go and look at my subscriptions and be like, "Wow, it's been a while." Because <laughs> <laughs> the only things I watch regularly are the Philip DeFranco show uh-huh. uh, and the Game Grumps, mm-hmm. and that's it. And then I'm subscribed to like 15 list channels yeah. <laughs> that are like top 10 whatever, and I'm like. Alright. <laughs> I have problems. Yeah, I I went through my YouTube recently, too, and my YouTube subscriptions, and it was it was interesting. Yeah. You forget, and then you get on and yeah. you're like, oh. It's like, I used to watch this? <laughs> no, it's not that I used to watch it. It's that occasionally I'll go there when I'm super bored. That's how I feel about PewDiePie, really. Yeah. If I'm super bored and I'm just... You know, I'm tired and I just want to watch something stupid and silly. I'll watch Peter Pie's like horror gameplays. Yeah. I went to his channel and watched the new. I don't want to say Resident Evil because that's not right. Overwatch? I think it was Overwatch. Overwatch 2 trailer. Uh, Overwatch doesn't have a sequel. Overwatch oh, no. literally just came out. No, I meant, uh, uh... Outlast. Outlast, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you can read my mind and tell me what game I'm thinking of. <laughs> uh, I, uh, this is what happens when you keep an ear to the ground. Yeah. Oh, wait, go oh. get that item. Go get it. Get, go. You found a grandpa! Yay! <laughs> we might be able to actually catch Pokemon now. Yay. Yay. Oh my god, you made it to town. Oh my god, you're not dead. Hey, there's balloons there. Yeah, it's a little festival. Oh. It's a little market. Hello. Welcome. How may I serve you? 
We have dolls. Yeah, remember this is oh, the first yeah. game where you could, you could find a hideout. Make make hideouts and stuff. We should get a hideout and name it the USS Enterprise. And then just fill it with dolls. And be I'm like, buying the Aussie Real doll. <laughs> and, then, and then be like, Science Officer Aussie Real, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then it just, squeaky! And, oh my god! <laughs> I am a little obsessed with the uh, Star Trek right now. <laughs> well, I, just, I, I played Artemis Bridge Simulator mm-hmm. at the con that mm-hmm. I went to earlier this year. And yeah. oh my god, that game is amazing. And uh, I want it. And I, I want to play, play it. it on the channel. Oh, shit, somebody's calling you. Oh! It's Roxanne, the gym leader. Yeah. I heard from Brawley that you're moving up through the ranks of trainers in an incredible clip. Well, I'd rather not think. I'd rather not think that I can't beat you. I promise I will shape up my gym so that you may challenge us again. I hope you will look forward to that occasion as much as me. Oh yeah, this is the first game where you could um, you could re refight trainers. Okay, okay. What? Uh... I'm just gonna avoid that. <laughs> Where's the Pokemon Center? Can anybody point me to the Pokemon Center? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's the first contest. Oh, cool. We can. Oh wait, no, it's a battle tent. Interesting. Well, the Pokemon Center's oh. right down there. Interesting. <laughs> I love how we're like, where's the Pokemon Center? Oh. <laughs> we'll deal with Team Aqua next what? time. We're in Sleepport, right? Yes. There should be a trade somewhere here. Oh, yeah, there should be. Is it always in the Pokemon Center? I don't know. I don't know. Talk to these people and see if they're... I will here. talk to them first and see. What is t- uh-oh. I'd say it's raising different kinds of Pokemon in a badass manner. It's no good to make just one Pokemon strong. Well, There's it a type for the of game advantage, it might not stand a chance. Well, shut up and talk <laughs> to my smiles! <laughs> it worked for the Grumps. Ah. Grumps. They beat the, the Leaf 4 with level 90 B drill. <laughs> I mean, spoilers. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know where to find this trade. Yeah. Next anyway. time on Sibling Revelry. Yeah. Um, Slayport! Uh, I went back into the Pokemon <laughs> That's my thing. Slate Pork! 